we got a question uh, from Christine Disaster 484. Um, and the question was, can a small dose of TRT, 50 to 80 milliliters, I'm, I'm assuming he meant milligrams weekly, and small dose of enclomiphene, not clomid, be used? The reason for the enclomiphene is to keep a small number of my production going. Some people say it's useless. The only reason would be to keep other hormones that the testosterone produces, like pregnenolone and DHEA, et cetera. So um, yeah, basically, uh, ultimately the, the level of testosterone um, recommended, or I should say that this person was asking about uh, 50 to 80 milligrams weekly. Um, uh, for one, that is an exceptionally low dose. Um, uh, the average man um, converts one milligram of testosterone to anywhere from four to six. Um, uh, as far as a uh, total testosterone. So a level, again, if you were to inject um, 50, 50 milligrams, um, uh, you would at best get your testosterone level uh, either to 200, that's four, up to 300. Again, that's um, six, you know, if you were to convert one milligram to um, six of total testosterone. So what that means is that that dose, um, all it would function to do would uh, be to suppress your uh, testosterone. Um, and since most guys who come in um, and that we treat are 350 or below, you know, 50 milligrams a week would actually make you lower than you were when you first started TRT. Um, so that's one thing to consider. Um, <clears throat> uh, but uh, the, the bulk of the question, I think, mainly would be, well, if I add something like Clomid or Enclomiphene to that regimen, wouldn't it uh, increase my testosterone production and help me, uh, you know, make up that difference? Um, so, you know, a lot of guys aren't familiar with Clomid or Enclomiphene. Um, they're basically two, two medicines that do the exact same thing. They're both um, selective estrogen receptor modulators, or you may have heard the term CIRM. Um, a CIRM acts directly on the estrogen receptors uh, of the hypothalamus and, and pituitary glands, um, basically um, uh, by blocking the estrogen receptors, um, it, because estrogen, I should say this, estrogen is the main feedback mechanism to the uh, hypothalamus that basically says you have enough testosterone. So as Brian was talking about with aromatase inhibitors, um, you can actually technically increase your testosterone just by having less estrogen attaching and, and telling your natural production to shut down um, within limits. Um, ultimately, uh, adding something like enclomiphene blocks that estrogen from attaching. So your body still thinks that you're low in testosterone and you produce more testosterone naturally. Um, uh, you, that basically will make your pituitary gland release gonadotropin. Um, releasing hormone, which then elevates the last two um, hormones in that cycle, which are FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, and LH, which is luteinizing hormone. So that's pretty fancy, but basically what it means is FSH and LH are what are increased when you take medicines like enclomiphene. FSH um, attaches to the Sertoli cells in the testicles, and those are specifically for sperm. LH are the Leydig cells, which uh, uh, produce testosterone. So you basically tell your testicles by adding those medicines to both in, uh, produce sperm and produce testosterone. Uh, long story short, um, they are often used as an alternative to testosterone for guys who don't want to try testosterone. Uh, it, but the important thing to remember with these, these medications is they only work in men with secondary hypogonadism, not primary hypogonadism. Primary hypogonadism, again, is, is the most common cause. About 90% or more of men who have hypogonadism um, have it because their testicles just aren't working correctly. So that's primary. Secondary means uh, the pituitary, for some reason, isn't sending the signal down there to um, produce more. So what that means is 
clomith clomiphene clomid which is clomiphene or enclomiphene two different medicines that increase fsh and lh only work in about 10 percent of men with hypogonadism uh, because it only works in men with secondary hypogonadism uh, so again to go back to the original question there is a one in ten chance that this adding clomid will actually increase your testosterone level um, and so there's the only benefit to doing a, a low dose testosterone level uh, exogenous testosterone level plus adding and clomiphene would be it might slightly increase your testosterone above the baseline but adding remember adding testosterone already shuts down your natural production so ultimately you're shutting it down on one side and then turning it on with the other and even then you're only turning on the testosterone production part um, in about 10 percent of men so the only benefit and there i should say this there's not a, there's really no studies that that have been done that add a serum to TRT, at least none that I could find in a pretty deep dive on PubMed. Um, though logically speaking, having the FSH and LH, you know, being released and basically tickling the testicles to keep working would suggest that it would be a, a, a possible replacement for um, HCG, which is commonly used in an attempt to maintain fertility, um, but it's better than HCG because HCG does not help you produce sperm. It just prevents atrophy of, of the testicles so that you can produce sperm later when you stop TRT. However, if you take something like Clomid, um, because of the FSH, which comes with that one, remember HCG only attaches to the LH receptors, uh, because there's the increased FSH, you can technically produce sperm while on TRT if you add a serum. Um, so long, long story short, um, uh, you, I have certainly prescribed them together in men who are trying to, um, you know, have a baby uh, while on TRT, and I have seen that successfully work to maintain sperm counts to a level that. Um, will allow them to get a woman pregnant. Um, uh, and then the last part of that question regarding pregnenolone and DHEA, um, testosterone um, is no needed to produce these secondary hormones like pregnenolone and DHEA, um, but all those can be supplemented. Uh, DHEA supplement over the counter, I think you could probably get a month's worth for like 12, 15 bucks. Uh, pregnenolone is also over the counter in a pill form. Um, uh, I think you can get that for, again, under 20 bucks um, most of the time. So since those are relatively cheaply supplemented and have no side effects, whereas um, uh, Clomid and Clomiphene are known to uh, cause problems with vision and other things, um, I, I don't recommend you do it um, unless you absolutely are, can't come off TRT and are trying to get your spouse pregnant. Um, but uh, yes, there's no doubt that they can be taken together for the benefit of fertility, but not for the benefit of your testosterone levels.